Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. As you know, there is a great chance of a new eruption uh, to take place anytime soon. It might take place today, tomorrow, next five days, next two weeks, we don't know. But we have a lot of earthquakes. Just today we had 103 earthquakes bigger than three on a Richter scale, which is significant. When we have so many earthquakes, it means something is brewing up, something is going to happen. A same thing happened in 2021 before Fagravashvat erupted uh, and last year it was the same thing in Meradalir. So there is a great chance of eruption taking place uh, anytime soon. That's why I make this video to inform you about that. Of course, uh, nothing is guaranteed, uh, especially when it comes to volcanoes and uh, volcanic eruptions. We don't know, because we had well, also a case when we had quite many earthquakes and nothing happened. But uh, there is great, great possibility that something will indeed happen. And most likely it will happen in a specific area close to Kaler. That's where we have uh, most of earthquakes happening just next to Kaler Mountain. Kaler means cone, cone mountain and you, you know I hiked it once to the top you can see it uh, in my videos and it's harder to get there but I have a bike so I will be biking there is no problem and I will be keeping you informed uh, about the ongoing events and this video is from the last year so <laughs> this is not happening now and just but it will look something similar to that because most of volcanic eruptions in Iceland take place from fissures. They start from fissures, quite lengthy fissures sometimes. And then those, those fissures um, narrow up to one point. One uh, volcano is forming up uh, eventually like it was in case in Meradale. But, uh, but when it started we had many winds like in the line. And uh, if it will happen, it will happen a bit further north. Uh, it will be a longer way to hike, but I'm sure lots of people will hike there because now in Arsenal we have really many tourists. Record amount of tourists this summer ever, so many people will come to see the new eruption. And I will keep you informed. As soon as it happens, I will be there for sure. And uh, stay tuned. Uh, now I'll show you the map uh, where it will happen so that you would have a better idea. So let's take a look where the volcanic eruption is going to take place. Very likely uh, that is going to happen. And this is Iceland, as you understand. And uh, we will zoom in uh, to Fagradalsfjall area. This is the old lava fields, the black you see from 2021 and 2022. This is Meradalir. Uh, where we had volcanic eruption precisely um, here uh, here you see the crater this is the crater from uh, last year 2022 eruption was concentrated here and the new eruption is likely to take place very close to Meradalir just a bit further north there is this mountain called Kistufat or Coffin Mountain and a bit further we have this mountain, particularly this mountain, which is called the um, Little Hrutor or the Little Ram. That this is the epicenter of all earthquakes right now, like there at this mountain, Little Hrutor. So it is a few kilometers longer hike for people if you start hiking from the old parking lot, but not big deal. Most of people will make it there. I guess this is the most convenient way to hike it from the old parking lots because there are no trails from the north so there is a road here as you see this is airport highway and there is this road very bad road i don't recommend to drive it with normal cars you can drive all the way to the Kaler mountain close close there is a parking lot here it ends you see you can park somewhere here and with normal cars if you have bigger wheels and bigger car it's okay you can make it if you are careful and slowly but of course to have a jeep and then you hike to to Kaler mountain which you see here it looks like a cone the pyramid and then it's um, pretty close to 
a little router or the little ram this is the epicenter this is where we are expecting volcanic eruption according to the earthquakes because they are concentrated here in this area between Kaler one kilometer south west from Kaler one kilometer southwest of Kaler in this area Little Hrutur is most likely place and this is goes in straight line you see this is a tectonic uh, uh, rift uh, line probably uh, there is a divergence taking place uh, along this line that's why we have volcanic eruptions from fissures it was from the fissure here you see in straight line that's how the tectonic divergence go, lines go through the Reykjanes Peninsula because most of volcanic eruptions in Iceland they take place from fissures and this was also a fissure eruption when it started here just in straight line so and then it concentrated in one spot like the other winds went off so uh, this is what is going to happen let's take a look at the earthquakes you can use this website call it the uh, Icelandic Met Office just type and you can choose English version and then you go to earthquakes and you can choose the uh, table table is better see how many earthquakes we have uh, here and down the magnitude of earthquake, like countless earthquakes, incredible amounts of earthquakes. Then you go to table and you see all earthquakes. And last 24 hours we had 1,543 earthquakes, huge amount. And let's uh, filter them out. Let's uh, take the biggest one, magnitude three and larger. Uh, open, and I will show you. We had. Uh, uh, magnitude 302 earthquakes on magnitude 3 and larger and the most recent one was now at 5 o'clock like one hour ago 1.3 kilometer south um, uh, east of Kaler here is another southeast of Kaler so it's like south east and southwest of Kaler so it is um, uh, here you see here it might take place even here somewhere we don't know exactly where but definitely south of Kaler let's say a few kilometers south of Kaler this is the most likely area little ram here you have the small mountain call it uh, little Kaler or small cone mountain this is the big Kaler big cone mountain so in this flatland in this old lava field we might see volcanic eruption uh, very easy for me to get there a half an hour by bike uh, from the parking lot C you see this is the parking lot C mm, and people used to walk along ridge and, uh, and there is a biking trail here behind this mountain and goes this road this road you see uh, I was used to bike it so many times in fact I was biking by uh, by this little ramp mountain to get to Meradalir so because the, there is a bike and trail here in between those two mountains so I know exactly where it is and no big deal I will be reporting I will be informing you if it happens I will be there immediately so I wish you all the best greetings from Iceland